Hey everybody, uh, Joe the Crowbar here. So I have a fun hobby on the side. I like to go out and fire off my guns. And uh, and my mom, she gets a little worried and a little like, you know, upset that I don't know what I'm doing or I don't feel trained enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a little bit of, make a couple videos to help her feel a little more confident in me. And maybe just so I feel a little more confident in myself. Maybe you guys uh, like what I'm doing. Maybe you don't, who's to say, uh, either way. Uh, like I said, just me, Joe the Crowbar. Uh, you can also follow my videos for gaming as well, which is what gets me so interested in guns, by the way, and, and owning them, because I love using guns in games, but then I'm like, I want to I wanna feel that in real life. I want to know what that pistol's like, or that gun is like in real life. So I make these videos so that you know when I'm playing a game, I have a better idea of the mechanics of a gun, because I've actually fired it, um, how it handles... Uh, different caliber sizes and what what sorts of like impacts they have and uh, because you know what when a game designer is designing um, like models and stuff like that they take real physics into play and if you understand physics of a gun and using it and you understand how it damages a target then you can better play a game. And a lot of gamers don't understand that, so they don't even buy a gun or they don't own a gun, and then they wonder why they're so bad at gun-based games. Mm, question. But not me. My name is Joseph Barr, and I'm going to talk you through some of my favorite guns that I own. This is a... Actually, it's a 410. This is what this shell is. See it? It's a rimfire. It's got it right here. It's a 410, and it's actually like a little mini shotgun shell. And it's one of my favorite little guns to shoot because this is just a bullet, and I'll show you the real gun in a minute. But um, it's got a slug in it, like a shotgun slug. So if you could imagine, this is a 3030. So the 3030 and the 410 are exactly almost the same, but slightly different. And I'll tell you why. This 410 goes way straighter than I thought this 3030 was going to. Okay, this 3030 does like a rainbow arc. I mean, sure, I don't get as much range with this 410 as I do with a 3030, but I'm going to tell you right now, I could knock something down closer and bigger, in my opinion, with the, the 410. It's actually a pretty good sized little slug in here. But I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. And so let's develop like um, a dialogue. If you think I'm wrong and your opinion is different than mine, then please, I'll, by all means, get, get on here. Tell me I'm wrong because that's what I need. Wisdom is knowledge is power. And the more you know, I can tell you right now, knowledge about guns and ammunition is stronger than guns and ammunition themselves. So um, any information that people can help me get and um, – um, give me is great, and that's what I'm looking for. So this, right here, is my lever action 410. It, it probably would like be comparable if I had to say to like a peacekeeper from um, Apex. Um, it does pretty much the same deal as you can see. Go right along with it. This one's kind of cool though. It's got a few features that like a regular pump action rifle wouldn't have and um honestly i just in my opinion it's so better than the like, gun from apex legends like, apex size, gun is can, definitely like, designed by people who like does this. not understand Pow, what a gun it know? actually does and it won't rust buckle my elbow which i've done a couple times um to interestingly too to cycle this gun right here you have to do this right and that's the that's how you that's how you open it and then what it does oh wait this is the problem with having mixed ammo bags. I grabbed a three inch slug, not a two and a half. And then I uh, cut the stock right off of this here puppy. So you can see that. But it's a shame. Stock's all cut up. Sad. I mangled this sick ass fucking ch saw, uh, um, hacksaw. Excuse me, a hacksaw? Yeah, I just mangled it. So. It's fucking wrecked now. Son of a bitch. And then I put it right here in my vise. Yeah. Mark my hole. It's all set. Ready to rumble. And then I got one of these things right here. A Dremel. 
Yeah, this one doesn't look like much, but it'll get the job done. It's by Ryobi. I dig it. You get enough on there. You really want to get this thing nice and coated. See that? Nice and coated. Yeah. It's good. Looking good. And let that dry. All right. Looking good. Now we're going to do something with this. A little bit more interesting. I don't know what to do with it, you know. It's pretty cool, but... Fucking sick. And this is the final project. Right here. Alright. So, you know, like... That's the gun completed. Uh, like and subscribe if that's what you're into. No big deal. Whatevs.